Hey everyone, today we're talking about the flag of Ukraine. This flag has been displayed widely in various forms due to the invasion of Ukraine by Russia over the last few weeks. We're going to tell you everything you need to know about the flag, the history, the symbolism, as well as the specifications. I'm not going to be giving my thoughts on the war in this video. If you want to get my views on that, as well as other subjects, then check out my other channel. The link will be in the description. So let's begin by looking at some of the recent displays of the Ukrainian flag. Many landmarks have been lit up with blue and yellow. So this article by the Italian Post shows you some of these monuments. Here we have the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin, Germany. Here is the Eiffel Tower in Paris. This is Flinders Street train station in Melbourne, Australia. This is the Empire State Building in New York. This is a bridge in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Here is a monument in Brussels. This is a chapel in the Netherlands. And this is the Erasmus Bridge in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. This is the Foreign Ministry in Skopje, Macedonia. And here, of course, is the Colosseum in Rome. This is the castle in Naples. Here is the Cathedral in Turin. And here is the Palace in Verona. So let's talk about the flag itself. And a good place to start is here with this article from Encyclopedia Britannica. This was written by Whitney Smith. And for those of you who don't know, Whitney Smith is a well-known vexillologist. He actually coined the term vexillology, which means the study of flags. Vexillolo is the Latin word for flag or banner. He's essentially the godfather of vexillology, the study of flags. So let's see what he says about the flag of Ukraine in this article. More than a thousand years ago, a powerful state, Kievan Rus, was founded in an area that is now part of Ukraine. National flags did not exist at the time, but Kievan Rus used as its symbol a trident head which was resurrected when Ukraine became independent in 1918 and 1991. Now this trident head is used as the coat of arms of Ukraine. We'll be taking a look at that in a few minutes. The first national flag for Ukraine was adopted in 1848 by revolutionaries who wanted its western parts to be freed from Austro-Hungarian rule. They based their flag consisting of equal horizontal stripes of yellow over blue on the colours of the coat of arms used by the city of Lviv. Okay, so I just need to point out that it was yellow over blue and the current flag of course is blue over yellow. The arms showed a golden line on a blue shield, an emblem dating back many centuries. And we'll be taking a look at this coat of arms in a few minutes. Late in 1918, the decision was made to reverse the stripes of the 1848 flag to reflect the symbolism of blue skies over golden wheat fields. This is the symbolism of the flag. The blue represents skies and the yellow represent the golden wheat fields. And in the second paragraph it talks about the flag that was used during the communist era. We'll be taking a look at those flags later as well. So in the Wikipedia article it says that the colours come from the kingdom of Galicia Valinia. And this kingdom existed from 1199 to 1253. And here you can see the royal banner and the coat of arms. This is the royal banner, it's a yellow line on a blue field. And here the coat of arms is the exact same design. So this is where the yellow and blue come from. And we can see here the location. It's roughly in present day Ukraine. Now obviously it's not the exact same borders, but that's the rough area of where it was. Now as for the flag design, as Whitney Smith pointed out, it was first used in the 1848 Spring of Nations. Now the revolutions of 1848 spread all across Europe. Many countries had these revolutions and a lot of them had the aim of removing the old monarchical structures and then creating like democratic and liberal governments. And during these revolutions, many new flags started appearing, including the current flag of Germany and a number of other ones. And of course, the flag of Ukraine was one of those as well. And as Smith's article said, the flag was actually yellow over blue, this one here. And then they changed it in 1917 to have blue over yellow. And this was done for symbolic reasons because the blue, as you said, stands for the sky and the yellow stands for the wheat field. So it makes sense to have the blue over yellow. And here's an image from Ukraine showing the blue sky over the yellow wheat field. So the flag reflects this landscape here that's seen all over Ukraine. Ukraine is a flat country. It's not very hilly or mountainous and wheat is grown over many parts of the country and in fact Ukraine is one of the largest wheat producers in the world. So this image you can see all across Ukraine. We see the flat horizon here, blue over yellow and the flag reflects this beautifully. And here is the coat of arms of Ukraine. We can see it here on the right. Let's uh, make it larger here. It's the trident design that Whitney talked about and again it's the same colors of yellow and blue. So let's talk more about the colors. Now a lot of you may have noticed that these various depictions of the Ukrainian flag, we have different shades of blue and yellow. 
So let's have a look at the flag on Encyclopedia Britannica. And here is a flag from Flagpedia. So we can see that the blue and yellow are both darker. So let's go back to this one here. We can see that these are lighter colors. And on the flags of the world website, we can see the blue and yellow are even lighter than the Encyclopedia Britannica article. Here it is again. So what's going on with the colors? So the law of Ukraine states that the colors of Ukrainian flag are blue and yellow, but other state bodies have determined the colors. In the table below, the colors are given according to the technical specification, this here. So when we click on that, we just have this article here. And this is not an official government article, but here are their specifications. You can see all the codes for the blue and the yellow. Now looking at this paragraph, there has been disagreement over the shade of blue used in the flag. In 2013, scholar Dmitro Malikov argued that the sky blue was the correct color and that according to rules of heraldry, dark blue should not be used. The head of the Ukrainian Heraldry Society said this heraldry issue does not apply to flags. These scholars and these flag experts in Ukraine disagree about the shades of color and the Ukrainian government has not issued like an official specification for the colors. And this is why there's some confusion about the colors. Look at these flags here. Now this is the flag of Ukraine when Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union. It's based on the Soviet Union flag but it has this light blue stripe at the bottom. And this is probably why the first flag of the independent Ukraine in 1991 had a very light blue shade shown here. And from 1992 to 2006 so the shade of blue got darker but the yellow shade actually got lighter. So that's interesting to note. But these colors are still lighter than the main flag of the article. These are the same shades used by the Flagpedia website. And these are the specifications here. Now here's a photograph of the Ukrainian flag at some sort of parade. We can see the lighter blue here and the color shades look more like this one. Now personally I prefer these shades. I prefer the darker blue shade and some of you may prefer these lighter shades. Maybe you prefer this one. Now the specifications of the flag it's got a 2 to 3 ratio. This one is 2 to 3. The one used between 92 and 2006. Now you can see pretty clearly here that this one is wider, it has a 1 to 2 ratio. And this is because the flags used by the Soviet Union, they were all 1 to 2 ratios. And so when Ukraine became independent, they stuck with the 1 to 2 ratio for a while before changing it to 2 to 3. And of course the blue and yellow take up an equal amount of area of the flag. So the flag is divided equally into blue and yellow. To sum up, the colors date back to Kiev and Rus in the kingdom of Galicia Valinia. The flag's design has changed a number of times since it was first used in 1848. The blue now represents the sky and the yellow represents the wheat fields. The flag's proportion is 2 to 3 and the shades of blue and yellow are not officially specified by the government of Ukraine. Be sure to check out some of our other videos on the channel. We're currently running flag design competitions called the Fan Flag Showcase and previously we've reviewed the flags of every country in the world as well as designing alternatives. And also we have a whole bunch of random flag related videos. Thank you for watching and see you all later.